Cameron, through to the next round of the Scottish Youth Cup, what's your overall take in the team's performance tonight? Uh, so today was obviously a challenging game in different ways, more so from performance than the result. Naturally winning the game 3-0, it's great to go into the next round because as a competition, this is class for our boys' development in different ways. And last year, we were really fortunate that we made it all the way to Hampton and it turned out to be one of the best moments of the season, both individually and as a team for the players. So to get through to the next round is great, but I think we need to, to go back on Sunday when we're in next in and look at the, the actual performance levels and where we can improve. You were talking about challenges there. What were some of them on the pitch tonight and how can you utilise tonight's experience moving into the next round? Yeah, so the challenge tonight was more the decision making. So we know that the boys have loads and loads of technical qualities and because of that they open up so many different options when they're on the ball, which is great. But when you get a night like tonight when the options and the decisions are maybe not the most effective, especially for the team, it does become a little bit of a challenge. But that's part of youth football and that's the joys. They're young kids, they're going to make mistakes, they're going to, they're going to need to learn because otherwise they'd be in a B team or a first team. So that's our job as coaches and it's exciting when you get them down and to see their, uh, their development and their progression will come later on in the season. So, so that's where we're at. To get the early goal as well, how important was that to sort of set the tone for the rest of the match? Yeah, listen, it's always great to score early in a game, especially when it's something we've worked on. We felt that the season would start quite slowly in games for various reasons, so to get an early goal was brilliant. And especially given that we've got a few of the younger players in today as well, I think it helped settle their nerves if they had any. I mean, if you look at Cammy Scott and Lancelot Pollard, they didn't play like they had any nerves, so um, it was always good to, to get that first goal. And how key is it for some of the younger lads, like you said, to come onto the pitch tonight and have this experience against some players who have had that a little bit more and you know use that going forward? No, listen, we're trying to really drive a culture right now at the club where if you're good enough, you'll get opportunities and we're looking at that pathway and I think there's been loads made of the pathway at first team level, but there's definitely a pathway that exists now between the A-teams and the B-team and if you look tonight, we had uh, four 07s in the squad and there's many others we could have chose from, so it's always great to see those kids come up because in football, you're always chasing somebody, so the A-teams are currently chasing the B-team players, but they've got to know as well that their 16s chasing them and hopefully when they go have a career, that, that never changes. And to get two goals in the second half as well, the boys' momentum and, and passion and desire didn't really seem to, to drop a lot. Is that key for them to have on the pitch? Yeah, so we spoke at half-time about being relentless, which was a massive theme for us last year and the way in which a Rangers team needs to play. It needs to be dominant, it needs to keep going after it and the fans, it was actually great to have such a town out tonight. They expect that from a Rangers team and it's great that when we play in a, comp a cup competition like this in a stadium, the boys get used to that so they can't just come here and win 1-0 and just walk off the pitch and be happy with that. There needs to be a performance to go with the result. And through to the next round of the, the cup campaign as well, it's one that you and the rest of the boys really enjoy. How much are you looking forward to pushing on with the rest of it? No, listen, as I say, we don't get a lot of opportunities in the under-18s league to play in stadiums. So coming to places like this to play on a great pitch in a stadium with fans is brilliant. So hopefully in the next round we can, we can go do the same.